Hey guys, Anthony Pichabona here back with another video. And in today's video, I'm just gonna share the trades that I made and my thought process behind them all. We're looking at crypto plays like Riot, Coin, and IWM, which is the Russell. We're trading breakouts on these names with call contracts. If you're looking to build your wealth in the stock market through options trading, day trading, or swing trading, you're going to want to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up if you appreciate it, and let's dive into the charts. The first trade we're looking at is Riot. When Riot got to about $31, I ended up purchasing December 3rd expiration contracts at the 30 strike, so basically at the money, 15K USD worth. This is the daily chart for Riot. What you see is the RSI creeping back up, going straight up, 57, still not where I would like it when I'm looking for breakout trades. However, like I said, I put on this trade before, took the loss because everything didn't cooperate. Now I'm seeing the stars aligning more and more. Riot was up 13.5% on the day, tons of strength, while Bitcoin did not move very much. People believe now that Bitcoin had its stabilization and it's going to run. We typically see a delayed reaction where the Bitcoin miners trail behind the actual cryptocurrencies. So when the cryptos are hot, the miners didn't, didn't run with Bitcoin hitting all-time highs. However, now, after hitting highs, stabilizing, and seeing that we're not gonna go back down, we're actually gonna have the next leg up, everyone is buying the miners in anticipation. So we're seeing that strength develop now. So I'm having faith that we're gonna see that push up to 35 to $40 in the coming month. As long as Bitcoin continues to have the strength around 64 to $70,000. So we're seeing Bitcoin trade at 63,200 on the daily chart. It looks like we had the run, the consolidation and the breakout is forming with a cup and handle pattern. Increasing the odds, we push up to the 68 to 69,000 level with a really strong overhead resistance sitting at about 70,700. So the likelihood of us going past 70,000 is extremely slim. However, the likelihood of pushing up to that 68,000 level is very likely. And that push alone should get Ryan up to about $40 in the coming month. With a really strong overhead resistance sitting at about 70,700. So the likelihood of us going past 70,000 is extremely slim. However, the likelihood of pushing up to that 68,000 level is very likely. And that push alone should get Ryan up to about $40 in the coming month. On the chart, we are above the 50-day moving average. We're sitting at $32 flat in pre-market. And what I would like to see is the 50-day moving average hold this time for a matter of a few days to get that leg up towards the 36 to 40 level. The first step though is to break this previous high of about 32.80. If we can get to that $33 level in the next coming days, I'm gonna be extremely confident that we're gonna push up to that $39, $40 level. When we drop it down to the four hour time frame, we're seeing the RSI at 72 and a half. This is where I really like to see it. So we're not there yet in terms of strength on the daily chart, but for the four hour, Things are looking exactly how I'd like to see them. If you just see by example, last time here, August 9th, when the RSI got to 72 on Riot, we pushed up to 37 and in the coming week, we hit a high of 41. The key is to have this RSI get to about 70 on the daily chart. When the RSI can get to about 70 on the daily chart, I become very bullish that we can see a push continue for the next coming days or weeks. If Ryan goes to $40 by the end of the month, beginning of December, we'll have 15K profit, which is a 100% return on the trade. And that's where I'd be looking to take profits, around that $39, $40 level. The second trade I wanted to talk about is on coin. I have 45K USD in this with a January expiration. The strike is 320. I bought this earlier on. We're already up $10,000 on the trade but I'm looking to continue to see strength in coin as we see strength in Bitcoin. And I can see coin run up to 380 to 400, but looking to take profit about 380 by mid-December for 26K USD profit. So that's a little over a 50% rate of return on this trade. Looking at the chart for coin, we're seeing a ton of strength. Now this is a chart I really like to see for breakouts. You see the RSI go to 73 October 18th and look what happened after the RSI got above 70. It continued to go higher, go down and go higher as the stock moved higher. This is what I like to see. Stochastic getting over 80 and flatlining on the daily chart with RSI being over 70 and staying above. This is what tends to happen with these kind of momentum plays. When a stock can get above 70 on the RSI on the daily chart and the stochastic can get over this line, 
in flat line, you're gonna see a run that can last days or weeks. The RSI got to 73 on October 18th. Coinbase was traded at about 280, and from October 18th to now is two weeks. We went from 280 to 330. We're looking at a gain of about 20% in the next two weeks after the RSI got to 73. I believe we can continue to see a run into earnings. If earnings are good, then we're definitely gonna get that push up to 380 to 400. With this one, I do plan to hold through earnings because my expiration is January. So if earnings, if we see a drop after earnings, we have another two months to have us continue the run. And I'm liking the strength and the momentum in coin. I may take off half the trade before earnings. Take a look at the four hour chart for coin. We are looking like we could see some consolidation for a day or two, and that'd be extremely healthy. If we trade sideways for a day or two, we're very likely to explode higher. We have earnings here November 10th. If we see on the four hour chart sideways trading into November 10th, I would feel much more confident that we're gonna see a move upwards after earnings. Anytime a stock can make a leg up and then trade sideways, especially into an event, it's very likely to continue the momentum higher as long as the RSI stays above 70 and the stochastic stays around 80 or higher. Those are the crypto plays. The next one is on IWM, which is the Russell 2000. I have 30K USD worth of calls, February expiration. I chose the 240 strike, so slightly out of the money because I believe we're gonna get a big move towards 260 or higher by January. If we see 280 by January, which is my take profit, we'll take profit of 134,000 US. And this is a trade I'm most excited about and I'll show you why. These are the smaller cap companies. We have been trading sideways at highs since February. So the entirety of 2021, we've been trading sideways and we're just starting to break out at all time highs again with increased volume. We had volume die off. We have an increase in volume with a breakout. We're sitting at all time highs. If we just get to that 235 level, a close above 235, I think we're gonna have that continuation up towards 280 by the end of the year. We saw the extreme drop off from COVID and then a nice healthy rally. And this rally was very explosive right here, but then we can trade it completely sideways. And if you compare the Russell to the S&P or the Dow or the NASDAQ, the Russell is actually up the least in the last five years. So the Russell in the last five years is up 100%, where the others are up anywhere from 120% to 200%. This sideways action is so healthy. If we do see this break above 235 with increased volume, and we see this RSI get above 70, look out because I really think we're going to see that explosive move towards 280 by the end of the year. Look at the RSI today. It's now at 69. So this is the highest ever since we had this sideways action from making that move. The real green flag is number one, the the close above 235 and the RSI being above 70 on market close. With those two factors, I'm much more confident that we see the push in the coming months towards 280. The longer we see consolidation, the bigger the breakout. And we've had a consolidation of 270 days. So this breakout could go all the way up to 300, but looking to take profit about 280 by January. The last trade is on NEO. It's a much smaller trade. It's about 5K US at the 42 strike expiring in January. I'm thinking that we're gonna see NEO be 45 by the end of November or 49 by the end of the year. And this is a trade for 1K profit, just something small. I'm not extremely confident on this because if you pull up NEO, the chart's decent, but it's not great. We saw a move up and then sideways action, but we have all these resistance here. If we can see this break of resistance of the 42 level, if we can get to 43, then I'll be much more confident that we can see that push up to about 46. And we could see more resistance at 46. So it's tough for us to see the move back towards the 50s. 46 is definitely highly likely to come in the next month. In total, this would be almost 200K worth of profit in the coming one to two months if all trades work out. And if all those trades work out, you can guess what I'd be doing. I'd be buying more Tesla shares. My goal is to get to 2000 shares of Tesla stock by the beginning of 2022. These are the trades I'm in with the highest conviction in the next one to two months. The rest of my trades I have are on selling calls, selling puts, and selling strangles. Like I talked about in my last video, I use most of my buying power to do that for a steady income. And then I'll put on trades like this, risking a much smaller percentage of my capital for bigger gains. I just wanted to share the thought process behind the trades I'm in. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this. I wanna help us all achieve financial freedom in the stock market and I'll see you in the next video.